Hope you're doing good. Mike, back with another video. Back here to talk about what's on my iPhone 15 Pro, April 2024. I made some adjustments to my home screen. And so that's what we're going to get started with is simply put what's on my iPhone. And what I like to do is actually start on the outside and work my way inwards to the device and my home pages. So if you guys are interested in this video, if you guys haven't already, make sure to like the like button, subscribe to the channel, the notification bell, it's all free. That way you know my video so you and I can see better actually was cracking. Now let's get into the video. And the first thing we're gonna highlight, of course, is the screen being off. And as you see, I do rock my always on display. However, I just rock the time and date and my live activities whenever there's a game going on. I don't use my wallpapers right now because it does save me a ton of battery life. So even though I still easily make it through a day with my wallpapers turned on, I also still like having that extra 15 to 20% with the wallpaper turned off, but I'm always tempted to turn it back on. As of right now, this is my always on display. Now entering the phone. As you see, this is my lock screen. I just use and uh, well, so what I need to do is go ahead and swipe down. There we go. So you see all my notifications, notification center. I also use my after. I use a summary. So some, you know, notifications I get will pop up in a summary. The only thing I don't understand is why my Waterminder app does pop up in both my regular notification center and my summary, it should just be in one or the other. But swiping down, as you see, I take advantage of the slimmer time. I believe this is the default option out of the box for the font, for the clock, I just thinned it out. And then I use the date and weather widget for the top half of my widget center up at the top. I don't use the clock or clock the battery or the weather widget below the time because it interrupts with the depth effect and so for those reasons i'm out <laughs> in the words of shark tank i don't use them now i will use them with certain other setups that i have if i'm not really concerned with the depth effect but i like the depth effect so for those reasons i opt with a simple lock screen like this and then notifications are at the bottom swiping up swiping down one of the benefits of uh, ios 17.4 was they fixed the notifications so now they all just come in nice and smooth no hiccups so this is how i use my notification center stacked at the bottom just like that and i technically rock a personal focus which is basically just like my all open whatever focus and then i do have two focuses after that i have a handoff focus which is kind of like that midpoint between like nighttime and sleepy time so it's like from 8 to like 12 or something like that and then 12 or so is when my sleep mode kicks in my sleep focus and then it really shuts everything down opening the device we jump right on in here to the home page and we have widgy i use widgy for this widget it helps everything kind of it gives it I don't want to say Android look, but it gives it a much more customized personal look by allowing me to set up a widget that I can customize to my liking and place there at the top or anywhere for that matter. I could take it and place it down here and move my apps at the top if I wanted to. Not necessarily going to do that right now, but I have been tempted to even change this a little bit more. We'll see if I will. But if you guys are interested in Widgie, you'd have to go to the App Store. And then upon going to the App Store, double tap the search icon there, type in Widgie. And you'll see widgie pop up right here now there's also widget smith uh right there below it right i have both of them i haven't been using widget smith as of recently i just started going back to using widgie and then once you download it you're going to hit open and once you hit open it's going to bring you into this page here you can manage reload set of transparencies which will we can get into right now transparency as you guys can see are wallpapers that you have if you this is why i left widget but then i came back after a while because i like changing my wallpaper often and so in order for the widget to really work the way i want it to with that transparent look you have to set up one static wallpaper they will not rotate and so that's what hurt me using widget a while ago which is why i stopped using widget and now i came back because i'm more or less kind of settled with using one wallpaper at a time what you'll have to do is find the wallpaper you want to use, make sure it's sized correctly to the phone that you're using. But And then what you're going to want to do is go into your Photos app. So let me show you guys that real quick. Go into the Photos app, and then that same wallpaper, let's just use this. You see I got two of these. <clears throat> you're going to want to use 
that wallpaper and screenshot it. The reason why you want to screenshot it is because Widgie will not take like a super big file size for the wallpaper. So taking a screenshot of the wallpaper will make this work a lot easier. So that way you get that transparent background. So upon editing out, that's how you set up your transparency for Widgie. Now to find the widgets, you want to come down here and click on explore. And once you click on explore, you have a whole gallery of different types of widgets that you can choose from. And you, there is a paid version where you get like unlimited access to multiple slots. So if you want to have more than just one of each size, you have to pay for that. I think it's like either two, three, four, five dollars, maybe seven. I don't know if it's that expensive, but you know, two to two to seven dollars would be safe. You pay for that and then you get all these available widgets in, in, in different slots so that way you can have multiple if you you know have many different styles that you like i like this one right here that i might grab i don't know what size this is it looks like it might be small oh it's not so what i'm gonna do is so you once you click on one that you like you hit import widget now it's in your personalized gallery once you do that you click manage down here at the bottom and all your widgets here will pop up now i don't know how big that one was so i might have to clear one of these out so let me go ahead and clear this slot i'm gonna clear this slot out right here so if you want if you have two all your slots filled you want to click on one click clear then click on it and then come back in here and add a widget so in this case here it is right here I'm going to add that. That's so. This is a large widget. I'm gonna do that. I don't want to apply the theme. And now it's loaded there. So now what I would have to do is come into this widget here, and as you see, it's adopting my transparent background. I'm gonna to want to click on Edit. Now this is where you can edit the widget to your liking. If you want to adjust the spacing that that's taking place and all that fun jazz, click on Edit Widget. And here's all the features or the components to the actual widget and so for me as you guys kind of see there's a lot of tab actions really what i want to do is click on text and then once i click on text i want to click on the paint icon because this is where you're going to get the colors now it says it's blending in right now but if i wanted to i click white Ooh. so i might have to figure out another oh maybe i can maybe it's down here if i click on this nope there's a way i always forget how to do it there we go color for the icon is white so I want white for that because it'll stand out more so once I, I'm gonna click the black button right here and then once I click on that I'm gonna change another one let's say I want to change see not not the weather per se Warner Robins then I want to click on white again so that way it just the color of the font so all the text for this one I'm gonna have to go ahead and click on this so that way I can adjust all of this fun stuff here and I think there's one more so upon doing my own look on my own I have found that I cannot find a way to just exclusively change the font color it will actually change that whole block color as you guys saw previously so remember that there's creators that create these widgets essentially for us and you know import them into the widget app for us to use and so sometimes you have to contend with how they constructed the widget and whether or not you still want to use it and so for this one i may still want to i just may have to figure out just have to stay playing around with it and that's what you're kind of doing with widgets sometimes sometimes a widget is perfect and you just have to place it in other times you may be a little bit more nitpicky and you may want to actually make it look a specific way maybe take more advantage of the spacing that is here and so like for example let's go to warner robbins Let's go to that text. I don't know where it's at. Is this it? No, that's not it. Where are you at, Warner? <laughs> I think, yeah, this one. So, like here, you have your different step sizes. So, if I want, I don't know if I want to go super large, because this is what happens if you go super large. If I do that, that's what happens, right? So, if I want to do this, then it'll space it out that way. And then maybe I space it out just a little bit more. And then I want to position it by pressing this one. So, now, oh, well. Let me hit medium now. So I'm going to go from large to medium. And then once I do that, I can move it and center it. And the nice, beautiful thing is you get to see how well it's centered by looking at the outline and where it's at in the widget. You see you got grid lines in here. You should be able to see you got, you got grid lines. Those grid lines are a great sense of direction for you to place this in the perfect spot 
uh, or the perfect area depending on how well you want it to be balanced or even and so as you see Warner's much more even now and I increase the size so that way it's more legible there at the bottom so now because I increase the size I can do this spread it out a little bit more do it twice and then I do that to pop it over make sure it's nice and even it's looking like it's nice and even and then I want to position it down a little oh so I can't actually move it down I would have to no no nope so this is where it's not fun it'll that's the the lowest it'll go and that's because of when you size it the way I have been those grid lines is kind of like the max and so this won't move any further down and again sometimes just how it's constructed so sometimes you can move it down further but in this case it's not going to allow me to unless and i maybe do that and then i bring it back down and so that's that's the best i got right there but i did i was able to increase the size and now if i back back out maybe i want to play around with the clock well not that's, that's not the clock <laughs> where's my clock I don't know what I did with my, oh, I think it was this larger one up here at the top, right? Yes. So in this case, maybe I want to position it up, but I can't because it's massive. So I cannot change the position of the clock. So this is what I'm stuck with. This is what I have been able to tweak to the best of my ability as of right now on camera. You're going to click the top arrow on the left here, hit confirm. It's now changed. Just in case it's not, you can always reload the widget. Boom. And as you see, that's what it looks like. So as part of a large widget, what you can do is, once you've created it, swipe out, and then let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and add a widget. I can add it right over here on this page. I'm gonna hit that plus button at the top to add the widget. We're gonna find widget. My widget is red. You can change the widget icon, I believe, after you buy it as well. So keep that in mind. Once I click on widget, I'm gonna scroll all the way down until I see the widgets. These are my small widgets, and you're gonna see my medium widgets, the one that I'm currently using on my home screen. And then you're gonna jump into large widgets here. And here's all my large widgets, and here's the one I just made. So I'm gonna press and hold on it, and then add it. Now, it's using a blurred background as opposed to transparent. So once I'm move it up here this is where it's supposed to be now you can see how it already kind of fits and outlines correctly right so what you're going to want to do is you're going to hit done and you're going to click back into it oh well because it's got tap actions it's going to try to go to use the shortcuts to, to launch you know the clock or the weather widget and stuff like that so hopefully okay it brought me back in we're going to click on it we're going to click edit and this is where again you can get you can still tweak your so we're going to find widget or uh, image and that's not the image we wanted. So you just got to find the right image. If it's this one, it looks like it might be this one. And as we see, you can click here, see transparent uh, background force dark blur. Now, instead of using that one, we're going to use transparent. Starting with V 3.2 is locked from editing to avoid incorrect frame positions and unwanted effects if you wish to fine tune the transparency layer go to the documents drawer tab and unlock it from there uh so i'm gonna click unlock right away and boom that's what we have going on there we're going to head that's the first time i've seen that message too never seen that before so now we're going to hit the reload so that way it reloads properly and i want to change the clock so that way it's regular time right so we're going to jump back in here again so you learn you're getting a nice crash course on how to really adjust the widget to your liking let's click on the next one it's the last one so now what we want to do is come over here date and time i don't know why i didn't see it the first time if i click on it date and time you see how it's double like two higher case h's lower case h h m m which is this one and now it is changed to 12 hour time instead of 24 hour time and once i click that i always like hitting reload anyway and once it's reloaded i click back out and boom it's adjusted so this oh icon over here i still have to find a way to finagle with but this is how you can adjust your widget to be a part of your home page setup and as you guys can see here 
this is the one I'm using. I'm using a medium one so I can maintain a lot of apps. I might change it. We'll see. Because you can even then just take one of these and hide everything. So let's say we go back and we click on this widget again. Hit edit and hit edit. You can hit these little eyeballs over here and hide everything if you wanted to. And then you can just use it as a spacer. You can use the widget as a spacer and then create your own homepage in that way. So I like that you can do that as well. So for me, I've changed my homepage around. So because I use Widgie now here, I have all my main apps here, social media apps, my two folders, an Apple folder and a regular app folder. Uh, and then I got my camera locked in down at the in the home row at the bottom. If we swipe to the side page, I still have my MD vinyl over here along with all my music and audio based as well as some some shipping uh, tracking going on there. I got another shipping tracking up here, which I may get rid of because delivery doesn't really work the same way it used to anymore. So I have those and then I come over here. I move my weather widget over here. So if I wanted more in-depth information, just come over here. And what's tied into here is my battery indicator for all of my devices that can connect. And then my water monitor app, which I did finally decide to go ahead and purchase. So that way I can log in as much of my drinking habits as possible so that way i can kind of see engage what if i need to cut back on this and the third just maintain taking in the appropriate amount of ounces of liquid primarily water that i need to so this is exactly what i have going on here and then my apple news widgets that consist of apple technology consumer electrics and samsung and of course all you have to do is press and hold and then you can edit the stack or edit news and then this is where you can choose your topic if you decide you want to do that and then my free for all apps that i might get rid of like monopoly go i don't really play like that true free i gotta keep for my buds uh territory helper when i'm helping uh some friends in my my uh christian community when it comes to you know bible preaching and then i got paypal business another publisher app and road capture because i'm tempted to try this capture app out road capture allows you to dual capture between your front facing camera and your rear facing camera so that's something i might check out in the near future we'll see we'll see this is my setup for my iphone 15 pro a lot of it was based around the widgie app i wanted to bring that to you guys so if you guys are interested in doing that for yourselves go ahead and check that out for you guys on your iPhones. Let me know, do you guys customize your phones on a regular or do you have like a very personalized, like customized setup on your device or you just go with kind of right out of the box, you move a few apps around. Comment section is open for discussion. Again, as always, if you guys haven't already, make sure to like the like button, subscribe to the channel, do notification bell, so I'll free to my videos. So you and I can sit back, check who's tracking. It's your man Micah signing out to the next video. Wait for it.